the second biggest hyperliquid airdrop is coming to the hyperliquid platform. And if it's anything like the first airdrop, it'll be worth thousands of dollars. Thousands of people made thousands of dollars during the first airdrop. So now is the best time to prepare yourself for the second upcoming airdrop. Today, I wanted to cover a complete guide on how to farm points for this giant airdrop, which includes trading on the platform, buying and staking the hype token, also bridging via the hyperliquid EVM bridge and the hyper unit bridge. This is set to be yet again, one of the biggest airdrops in crypto history. So you want to make sure you follow all of these next strategies to prepare yourself. Let's take a look. So Hyperliquid is a trading and perpetuals platform where you can go long or short on dozens of different assets. So the first biggest way to make yourself eligible for the next airdrop would be to establish trading history. That means trading volume. So you'll definitely want to start trading perpetuals on the platform. And as you can see on the leaderboard, there are accounts trading millions of dollars weekly just to give you an idea. But if you're not working with a lot of capital, I recommend trading with a couple of thousands of dollars so you can establish trading history. And to get started, you'll have to deposit some USDC on the Arbitrum network. And the more you trade, the more points you accrue and the higher your airdrop will be. The next way to make yourself eligible for this airdrop is to stake the Hype token. Hype is the native token for the Hyperliquid platform. So in order to acquire some Hype token, you'll have to swap for it directly on the platform. You can type hype in the search bar, make sure you select spot. So here I'm going to transfer to spot. I have some USDC in my perpetuals account. I'll transfer some to the spot account. Sign in your wallet. And for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and buy one hype token. We'll place the order and hit buy. Cool, that was successful. Now that I have the hype token, I can then stake it in the staking page. So now we'll want to transfer the hype token from the spot wallet into the staking wallet here and hit max. Make sure that transfers over. Hit confirm. Now you're ready to stake. Hit stake token. We'll have to choose a validator. So the Hyper Foundation does have four different validators they run, and there are other popular validators as well. So for this example I'll choose hyper foundation one so it looks good and hit stake cool and now that does take a day to update the balance now the more you stake the higher your airdrop potential will be the next method I recommend you using is providing liquidity in the vault section so within the vault section you actually earn a percentage fee for every trade place so every time a trader places a bet the liquid takes a small percentage of that trade and if you're a liquidity provider you earn some of those trading fees so the biggest vault is the official hyper liquid vault on the platform so I I do recommend you deposit into this HLP. There's currently over 400 million total value locked in this vault and the APR is at 8%. I remember when Hyperliquid was launched, this APR was closer to 50%. So when you're ready, just go ahead and hit deposit and deposit some USDC and hit deposit and confirm. Beyond staking, the next thing you want to do is use the new Hyperliquid bridge. So not only is Hyperliquid a trading platform, they launch their own native blockchain. This new layer one blockchain is EVM compatible. So that means it is compatible with all Ethereum networks, including ETH, Arbitrum, the list goes on. So you want to initiate some bridging and transfers here to establish volume so we'll connect our wallet we'll go over to the bridge section so for now there aren't a ton of options available to bridge from mainly stable coins and as you can see the most popular stable coins on here are the usde which is the athena stable coin or the tether usdt stable coins so if you have some usde on your arbitrum wallet you can bridge it over to the hyper evm and don't forget to add the hyper liquid evm network on your metamask wallet wallet or which other other wallet you are using. Cool. Another hyper liquid bridge I recommend you use is the hyper unit bridge. So hyper unit is a native tokenization bridge built on hyper liquid where you can deposit different types of assets into the hyper liquid platform. That includes Bitcoin, Solana, Farcoin. Mind you, these are all different networks and different types of tokens. So the fact that you can tokenize it and bring it into hyper liquid natively, you'll definitely want to bridge some of these different assets into Hyperliquid so you can increase your points. So if you have some Bitcoin, make sure you have a Bitcoin wallet on your browser or Solana. You know, most people like to use Phantom Wallet for Solana. The cool thing now is MetaMask also supports Solana. So that's a cool feature. You can use it all in-house within MetaMask if you're using MetaMask. So now when you deposit into this Hyper Unit bridge, your balance will then populate within the platform directly. So that's a cool feature. Now a bonus opportunity 
would be using a swap such as HyperSwap. Over on DeFi Llama, you do see that new apps have been launched on the HyperLiquid L1. HyperSwap is among them. So HyperSwap is a third party platform. There is speculation that you can make yourself eligible for this airdrop if you use this platform. So on here, you can swap some Hype token for stable coins and different types of tokens. Pretty cool. And there are other platforms I recommend you check out as well on the HyperLiquid chain, including HyperLend. So all in all, I do recommend you focus your attention on establishing trading volume. This is the biggest revenue generator for the platform. So the more you trade, the higher your airdrop potential. So what do you think about the upcoming airdrop for the hyper liquid platform? I know a lot of the crypto community is excited about this. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where I have tons of other free airdrop tutorials. So definitely stay up to date with all new announcement on their official X page at HyperLiquidX. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.